guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I did these nails. So these nails are press-ons from Amazon and I will leave the link down below in the description. They are clear nails, press-on nails. Um, I don't know why there's stuff on here. So these nails are from Amazon. They are press-on nails, but I painted and shaped them and everything myself. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I did this, then keep on watching. Before we head into the video, I just want to say I'm going to leave some information on what's been going on the Black Lives Matter, Justice for George Floyd. I'm going to leave some information in the description box, some links uh, to petitions, um, also to funds that you can donate to. And yeah, this is just it's something that's really important to me as well as many others. Um, I think all of us black people can say they've experienced racism at least once in their life whether it's in a form of microaggressions or in a form of police brutality or anything in between i think we've all experienced racism at one point i'd rather have you take action like donating signing petitions anything else than sharing a post on instagram but i'm gonna leave all the information in the description box all the important links uh, petitions what i said so you guys can educate yourself on it and hopefully take action because this is an important issue that concerns all of us so i just wanted to say that before i head into this video i hope this video um also functions as a bit of a distraction from everything that's been going on because take care of yourself this all this bad news that's been flooding our social media and uh, the news and stuff it can be very draining for your mental health i had to take a social media break myself for a day because it was just too much so yeah i encourage everyone to take care of yourself yeah that's all i'm gonna say i don't really know what else to say but i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one okay so first things first let's start by cleaning our nails I'm just going to use a cotton pad and some nail polish remover because I am wearing a clear nail polish. My nails are disgusting to say the least. I miss my acrylics so I'm just hoping that this press on set will save my nails because my hands look like a set of five sausages. Also, when I had exams, I was so stressed that I was like picking at my nails. I don't really bite my nails, but I pick at them with my hands. So that's a bad habit that I form when I'm stressed. So what you'll need for this press on set is of course the press on nails. I got these from Amazon. I'll put a link down below. I got the clear version. So I'm very excited on how these will look. I think I got the coffin shape, I don't remember. Um, then you need nail glue, I got this nail bond from Amazon as well. I'll put all the links down below. Then you need a few nail files, this one is for shaping. Um, I all got this at my local beauty supply stores. I had this one already and I got another six sided file. That's what you need and then of course you need some nail polish i didn't actually have any nail polish because i don't do my nails at home ever so i bought some cute colors to be honest they didn't have many options or not as many as the nail salon of course so i got that um and then it's always useful to have like a nail set i don't know what is this called like a tool set um, where you can like for example cut your cuticles or push back your cuticles or I don't know anything so now that we've cleaned our nails we're going to push back our cuticles now I already removed my cuticles a couple days ago because they were just bothering me so much so now I'm just going to push them back like so and you can use anything to do this actually you don't need a like a nail tool set okay next i think we have to buff our nails so that the glue can stick to your nails properly we can use this side because i think this is a bit too rough 
So I'm gonna use this side to buff my nails. And you don't even have to buff it too much. Just a little is enough. I hate how ashy your nails look after you use nail polish remover. And if your nails are not as short as mine, then you can shape them or maybe shorten them a little. Um, I also did this already a couple days ago. Okay, I don't have that fancy nail brush that they have at the salon, so I'm just gonna use that cotton pad that I use to clean my nails to remove all the dust. Now, I'm actually gonna try the press-ons before gluing them on because I also want to paint them before I, I glue them on. So this has 600 pieces and every size has a number so that you know which number is your size, like which number fits your nail. So I think, yeah, one is the biggest. No, zero is the biggest, and then I think eight is the smallest. Okay, so you get one of each, except for four and five, you get two bags of these. So let's start with the biggest one. Let's start with my thumb. This is what they look like. They're clear, and this is the tip, I think. This fits my thumb perfectly. Oh yeah, I think one is better. Make sure to just check your other thumb as well. So, number one for the thumbs. Ooh, I'm doubting between number three and number four for my middle finger. So now that I have the matching sizes to my fingernails I am going to paint the nails this is the hard part because I don't know which color to choose I think I'm gonna go for nude I'm gonna glue the nail to this q-tip and then paint it like that because I think that's the best way to do it I don't know if I should use lash glue or this nail glue let's try it like this first I don't know if it worked Hey, it worked. Okay. So I just got some cheap nail polish from Essence. <laughs> and this is in the color 64 ready for it. So I'm going to use two layers for each nail, I think. Let me cut these Q-tips. So I don't want to waste them. Okay, my camera stopped recording because the card got full, but I painted the nails now and now I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to apply a top coat and then I'm going to let it dry again and then we're going to apply the nails to my fingers. <laughs> so now that the nail polish has dried, it's not fully dry yet, but I'm going to apply the ultra quick dry top coat by Essence. Okay, so while this dries, I'm gonna go and eat dinner. And then when this is fully dry, I'm going to apply it to my nails. So I think that the preparation takes the longest, but once you have this, it's very easy to just stick them on. I hope at least. <laughs> so let's just give this the time to dry and then I'll be right back. Okay, it has been a few hours <laughs> since I let these things dry. So I'm just going to buff my nails again because I feel like they're smooth again. I don't know if that makes sense. So let me just remove these and then clean the nail from the inside because as you can see, this one down. So I'm just going to take another Q-tip, soak it in some acetone nail polish remover and clean the inside of the nail. Let's do this. So first, I'm going to apply it to the nail. So I'm just gonna apply a little. Just like 
that. I think this is even too much. And then apply to your nail as well. Let it dry for a couple seconds. And then you hold it for a couple seconds. I think it's on. It is so long. I've never had nails this long. Okay, let's try the second one. It's very important that you apply it like this and then push it down. <laughs> this feels so weird. Oh my god. And there we go. Wow, they are really, really long. Like, they look even longer on my nails. And I think it's also because they're very thin. I think I'm going to try to shorten them. I don't know if that's possible because they're made of plastic. But let me do my other hand first. Oh my god, I'm already struggling. So this is what they look like. I really like the color actually. Um, the form is nice, it's just it's too long. And I think because the form is also very thin, it looks even longer and scarier. So I want to shorten them. I'm not sure if I can, but let me try to file it first. Okay, so that's working, but I do feel like this is gonna take a while. I'm gonna try to cut a little bit off of it. Okay, this is much better. So I'm gonna do this to all my nails. So there you go, I love this. I am obsessed. Like this looks so much better than this look at the difference so now we're gonna do the other hand this is the finished look i am obsessed like this literally looks like my acrylic sets like i am shocked truly shocked i love the color um obviously you can choose any color you like um and the shape i didn't even have to do anything except for shorten it and it's basically like the perfect shape so I am definitely gonna do more of these. Now it's just a question of how long this will stay on. But to be honest, the glue is pretty, pretty strong as much as like, up until now the glue is pretty strong actually. So yeah, I am really, really happy with how this turned out. So these are the nails and honestly I am really happy with how they turned out. They look amazing, they feel great, um, I don't even know what to say about it. I messed up this one, like the nail polish, it didn't dry fully, but um, I love the shape, I love the shape. And the length, uh, as you guys have seen, they were very long at first which made them look very thin as well so I cut them down to this length and the shape was perfect like i didn't even have to touch the shape so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video for me this is like a life changing <laughs> invention because i don't know if i will ever go back to acrylics the only thing today's the day after i filmed the nail stuff yesterday but the only thing that i can say is that these thumbs fell off I think because they had a little bit of air inside them, like I didn't press it down properly. So one tip that I would give you guys is to make sure that you um, clean your nails properly before you apply them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Guy. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because we're growing and we're almost at 8,000 subscribers and that is just crazy to me. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!